People use many different types of abbreviations. They use IDC for I don't care. Hey! What? You heard my feelings! Uh, I don't care. They use RN for right now. You have to apologize to me right now! They use BRB for be right back. Hey, okay, sorry. Oh shoot, I can't apologize to you. I hear my parents. Look, my parents are on the phone! That's your hand. How are you gonna call your parents on your hand? If it's my hand, how is it ringing, huh? Yeah, my parents are calling me. Be right back. Sorry, I can't apologize to you. You get the gist. They use a bunch of different abbreviations, but one abbreviation that has been here since 2002 is IDK. It stands for I don't know. Here are some reasons why someone would use the abbreviation IDK. They're texting and they don't want to type out I don't know, so they use the abbreviation IDK because it's a lot faster and easier. Number two, they're talking in person with someone and the other person just asks them a really weird question that has nothing to do with anything. So then they're like, I don't know. What's your favorite movie quote, Sazi? I'd like to know. My favorite movie quote? Who keeps track of that? I don't know, what's yours? I need to! Number three, you just gave some advice and just in case the advice isn't good, you say, I don't know, after it, so that the advice doesn't ruin their life. Here's an example. Oh my God, I lost my cat. Really? I put lots of flyers up. Wait, when did you lose your cat? Um, yesterday maybe? Yesterday night or morning? Uh, I don't remember. You lost your cat yesterday. You could probably like go to the police station or something and Maybe, yeah, you can probably go to the police station and then ask them to file a report. I think, I think they do it for cats too. And then you can also put up flyers like you said. That's actually a really good idea. Hi, that's awesome advice, Sandy. Seriously, I really hope you find your cat. Jeez. Yeah, his name is Fuzzy. I miss him so much. What if that advice doesn't work? I mean, I've never done it before and I don't really know. So maybe I should tell him that I don't know. Okay, but like, you could do all that stuff. I've never done it before, so I don't know though, but it'd probably be a good idea to give it a try. But I, I don't actually know, okay? Thank you so much! IDK could stand for a bunch of different things, but the main thing that it stands for is obviously, I don't know, and so many people use this one, especially me. That's why I use this one so often, because there's so many things that I don't know. Like, I don't know how to juggle. I'm trying to learn. I can kind of juggle, right? I can do it too. I can go like this. Oh, wait. I can walk around. I don't know how to do it with three. I can kind of do it with three, but I can't do it that well. I'm trying to learn how to do it with three. I can talk and walk with three, which is good. I can't do it that well. I don't know how to bike with zero hands. I can bike one-handed, but I can't bike zero-handed. This side and this side, but for some reason, I can't do Kind of, but not that well. Way better at one-handing even when I'm standing up. Nice! I don't know how to do a rainbow in soccer. You know how people do this thingy? That thing? Yeah, I don't know how to do it. That's my attempt. At least I can spider dribble. That. I don't know how to drive. Yeah, I'm not old enough to drive, but I can try though. I don't know how to snap my fingers. I can clap, but I can't snap. Wait. I don't know how to parallel park. Okay, so I can't parallel park because I can't drive, but seriously, I can try though. Since I don't know so many things, I get really, really sad. So then I change the entire abbreviation's meaning from, I don't know, to a bunch of other things. Here are some other things that IDK could stand for. I drive kites. I don't own a kite and I can't drive, but seriously, I can try. Imagine doing kayaking. So I don't live anywhere near water. And also I don't own a kayak. So this is gonna be my kayak. I drink Kool-Aid. Oh my god, it's the Kool-Aid man! I'm the Kool-Aid man! Drink the Kool-Aid kids! Not sponsored because I'm not monetized.
So that was everything that you need to know about the abbreviation IDK, which stands for I don't know. I don't know how many times I have said that. If you still don't know what IDK stands for, watch the video again. This was a really random video. I don't know how I actually got this idea, but it was really random to record, but somehow it was fun. And hopefully you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I am very close to 100. I only need six more subscribers. Seriously, if you're new or if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much much for watching this and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!